on April 7, 1506, in Javier Castile near Tanguesha, Navarre. God gifted a baby boy to the Queen Dona Maria and to the King Juan de Jasu. My dear, I am feeling very weak. <coughs> I think this is my last moment. Please take care of our children after me. <coughs> Let them not feel my absence. Please, don't say like this. You will be well soon. Dear, Come here, Francisco. <coughs> My son, whatever had to happen, it's all over. Now, you are young enough to join for schooling. Sure, mom. I want you to get admitted to a hostel for your bright future in education. Of course, ma. Come with me. Mother of Francisco, Dona Maria, separates him for his schooling till 1525. Good morning, Mr. D'Souza. You're welcome, Your Highness. Please have a seat. Thank you, sir. What is your wish to do, Your Majesty? I need to get admission for Francis in your school. How nice! It will be our pleasure to serve you. It's okay. Just look after Francis and teach him to be a noble man. Worry not, Your Majesty. He will always be in our care. Thank you, sir. You have to learn such ways through which you would gain your kingdom back. I should leave now. Take care of yourself, my dear son. Yes, I will be mom as you wish. Francis, Francis. Yes, sir, I am present. Please follow me. Yes, sir. Good morning, my dear students. Here we have a new classmate, Francis, for the Prince of Xavier Castile. Please welcome him. You are welcome, Francisco. Thank you, friends. Me, I am feeling hungry. Ma, I am thirsty. <coughs> Betty, please have some patience. I hope your brother will bring something to eat and drink for us. <coughs> Just go and play outside. Okay, Ma. May I go out, sir? Yes, but come back soon. Yes, sir. Dear students, the whole world is a family. We must live here in peace and harmony. We must be part of the joy and sorrows of one another. May I come in, sir? Yes, come in. Sir, sir, I saw James stealing bread from the kitchen today. Actually, from the last few days, I was vigilant 
that the bread was not enough for the children in the hostel though i cooked enough is true james no yes no sir i swear i have seen him stealing if you don't believe me check his bag fine just go and do your duties in the kitchen i will see this matter further okay sir guys just have a look in his bag yes sir there are some bread found james you did this i never expected from you you just get out you are really no longer worthy to be in this school sir forgive me i don't want to do this but but what i want nothing to listen after this get lost my friend the act was really not praiseworthy still i'd like to know its reason friend i have only mother who is sick no one is there to look after my brother and sister no one to earn and feed them how pity is this boy by the god's grace i have more than enough i must help him out of all this I am really very sorry I was not aware of your situation please wait for a minute come with me thank you my friend how lucky i am that you are my friend if you don't mind will you please come to my house my mother will be very happy to see you Why not? Let's go. Mummy, Bhaiya is back. He is coming, bringing something to eat. One noble boy is with him. Mom, my lovely mom. See what have I brought today? Did you bring us food to eat, my son? See. Your brother and sister are very hungry. Worry not, ma. See how nice and kind of he is to us. Who is he? This is Francisco, my friend. Please relax. Don't cry. Francisco, please come here. Really, you are an angel. James I am very happy for you that such a great friend you have I have nothing to worry about I can rest in peace without any burden now Oh God have mercy on them people live in this world I must do something for such type of people who lead a better life they are also human beings If I cannot help them anyway, shame on me. Ma, just calm down. I promise that you will have not to worry for anything. I may arrange whatever you need. But, but, don't worry. I have more than enough that I need. I will talk to sir. and arrange everything for the rest of your life until james is able to do the things by himself thanks again i will always be grateful to you my friend okay i should leave now goodbye my friend see you soon grown up francisco returns back to javian the style and meets his brother and mother oh hey francisco how nice to see you mom look who is here with us oh my son you are back please come have some tea Francisco what's next you wish to do I think you must join the ministry 
and lead our army to a higher peak like our father and ancestors did. Isn't it? Yes, I too wish the same. But mom, brother, I am really very sorry to say I am not at all interested in shedding blood in war fields, ruling on people. And as you know, I won't kill anyone. Anyhow, so what now? What you mean, Francis? Just think of us also. We have already lost the kingdom, our people in past wars. Mom, I am aware of it, but I don't want to go further in royal life. I wish to go to Paris, higher studies. Actually, I want to become a professor to lead a normal life without hurting anyone. Hmm, a professor. Prince will become a professor now. What foolish you talk about, Antonio? Please calm down. Anyway, our blessings are always with you, my dear son. Do as you feel is right to do. After completing his schooling, Francis Xavier moves to University of Paris in 1525 for his higher education. After a long journey, he reaches university campus. There, he meets his companions, Alfonso Salmero, Diego Lineage, Nicolas Babadilla, and Ignatius of Loyola from Castile, Peter Faber from Savoy, Simão Rodrigues from Portugal. The world is full of wonders and beauty. How great is nature! It nurses all living beings in the world. How great are the planets and nakshatras that maintain life in universe. Above all, how great is the Almighty God who created this earth, nature, and universe? Don't he? Yes, we agree. Will you please just reflect on the topic? Share your views on it now. What nonsense does he talk? That's true. God made this universe and granted mastery to rule on all this. By man, but now we find that it's almost getting over everything, including nature, is getting destroyed due to selfishness for their comforts. One side we find people are getting educated, but the other side, for their personal benefits, they are often seen hurting and cheating others. What is going on? He is only responsible for degradation. I feel that everything created by God is made for His purpose to know, love, and serve through all these nature, matter, and people in the world. I am agree to that, but still it may need a proper channel to go for it. The concept of know, love, and serve is to reduce and lead the world to a better understanding. I totally get agree to Javier's thought. If everyone accepts it and tries to find God in everything, they will be able to care for each and everything. They will glorify God for His creation. Also, lead a better life, exploring their wisdom. Francis, yes, Inigo. You have very good thoughts. Would you like to be a priest? Thank you for invitation. I want to be only a professor. Anyway, this is lunch time. May I leave now? Okay, you can go now. But remember, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul?
Xavier is really smart. Handsome. And young too. <laughs> ah, I'm planning to put a hook on him. If he shows me green signal. Oh my god, you just took away my words. Hey girls, what's up? What's going on? Francis, you hardly noticed us. I'm really sorry, girls. Francis, I have already decided to join Ignatius and his companion. Have you got something to advise me? No, 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 no. Don't interfere anyone's life. My path is very clear. Why do I feel restless? Everybody is only behind me. Why? What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul? What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul? What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul? What does it profit a man suffers the loss of his own soul? If he gains the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul. Oh yeah, I got it now. After long way of disturbance, finally Francis Xavier joins Ignatius and his companions. And that's how the Society of Jesus was founded on 15th August 1534. All sit and draft the vision and mission and then migrate to Rome on 27th September 1540 to meet Pope Paul III for approval of their community. Okay. Good. Nice. Especially I felt and wish you to carry it on. All the best. Come on now. May good God bless your head to be thoughtful. May good God bless your hands to be helpful. May good God bless your hearts to be grateful. May good God bless your feet to be noble and holy. Wherever you reach, it may bring peace and harmony to them. May good God be with you, lead in your vision and mission of the Society of Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord Shepherd. We will be always grateful to you. Hmm. Good luck. Go, become man for others. From then, they started working in the fields of missionary outreach, direct evangelizations, intellectual research and education all around the world. Soon, Francis Xavier was assigned to a service as substituted in the place of Nicholas Babadilla for the Southern Asia and its neighboring territory. Francis, now it's your turn to go. Yes, father. Go and set fire in the world as the wish of my lord. Francis Xavier left Rome on March 15, 1540. He was on the way to Japan, but because of sea fever, he was dropped down in Indies, India's old name, when it was facing backward and untouchability. He arrived in Goa on 6th May 1542. Hello brother, I have some good seed. Take them and go. I am sure you must gain extra benefits of them. Thank you friend. Francis Xavier goes street to street by ringing a small bell, holding a cross and holy book, the Bible, on his arm. Children follow him laughingly. He distributes edibles among them. Fishermen and poor people also come to learn business ideas from him. He makes them to hear the stories from the Holy Bible for educating them so that their status and standard may improve in the society. I had only a daughter who has been suffering from a rare disease for last three years. Do you have any idea how can I get her wake up from the secret? As you wish, my lord.
get rewards on curing the princess get rewards on curing our princess get rewards on curing the princess i am unable to detect the type of disease sorry i can't help it up god what's wrong i did that you are taking me to suffer i looked and tried all kind of medication but still my daughter is on bed is there anyone who can cure my beloved daughter yes my lord still there is one i have heard about him that his medicines and prayers really work don't waste more time immediately go and bring him anyhow as your order your majesty father father do you run facebook no i don't father and instagram that's also not father father why is your hair very long i don't get the time to cut them i am very busy or a lazy fellow you know don't say like this father you are joking no you know that i am joking still you are asking you naughty boys and girls where is your attention are you really here to learn about jesus hey you there who is this me yes you come with us no no i don't want to meet any king wing hmm? you have to come are are leave me let me go what's wrong with you what do you want from me what did i do just keep quiet hey young man if you want to be alive treat and cure my daughter soon wait your majesty it's not all on me but lies on my god definitely i will try my best not because to save me but to save your daughter Thank my God, you heard my prayers. Truly, Pa, I believe that His prayers and medicines work. You did a miracle for me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He is the only Savior of us. Ask me what you wish, and it will be done for you. No thanks majesty just serve the needy people in your kingdom still i am very happy i will not let you go empty hand from here all right then help me to build an altar in your kingdom somewhere i will do it for you as soon as possible i knew that your god is the true god i will help you in your works and this is how francis xavier keeps working treating preaching and teaching people in nearby islands and the coastal areas of the country to improve their life time passed He often visited Japan, Malaysia and other territories. Came back again to India because 
people of this place were very simple and were in worse condition who needed his care and guidance antonio fernando yes, yes father. father brethren i had been with you for more than two decades now I wish to go to China and Tibet to spread God's message to them also. Why not, Father? We shall be there with you. Antonio and Fernando led him through the waterway to China, sheltered on an island. While trying to gain entrance to China, which was then closed for foreigners, he fell fever again due to the water journey fernando will you please see around if someone is there to help us of this this sure just take care of father antonio my friend antonio my friend please pray to god and know his plan Okay father but it was too late till then fever grew more still he kept praying and took last breath on 3rd december 1552 I could not help him. His breathing was very cold, but still, father was very calm and silent. Control yourself, brother. See how peacefully his soul is taken by the God. Maybe it was the plan of heavenly God. Francis Xavier was first buried on a beach at Sang Chuan Island. After 3 years, secondly in Taishan and then Guangdong. On 11th December 1553, his body was found undecayed and fresh. On digging once again. Thus his followers sipped his body to goa even without using any chemical or medicine his flesh had not left bones in his body it is just a miracle of god till today remaining the same as it was 450 years ago undecayed He was canonized as saint on March 12, 1622 by Saint Pope Gregory XV. His body is now in the Basilica of Bom Jesus Church in Goa, where it is placed in a glass container in a silver casket from 2 October. 1637 Presently Indian government has taken initiative to supervise and care for the casket from 11th December 2018 through Department of ASI to show the honor of his valuable sacrifices and dedication towards mankind Today Jesuits are serving and flourishing in 112 nations on 6 continents. They are engaged in social justice and human rights issues in modern time including India. <laughs>